from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. How is it possible, man? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for joining in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's Thursday and time. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of Lycus 101. The basics of Like Is 101 are as follows. First of all, this is not a course to teach you how to fix your marriage. And how to make your boyfriend more sensitive. Okay? Save that for Dr. Turkey Neck or Dr. Phil or somebody like that. Uh, but, but forget about getting that kind of recommendation here. Because I don't claim to be an expert in that field. I'm divorced four times that I can remember. Could there be more? Who knows? <laughs> oh, I've had some years when I was so effed up, it's entirely possible. <laughs> but that's beside the point. I have learned by doing, and I'm passing my experience, my wisdom, on to you. One thing I'm not advising you on is how to save your marriage, okay? If you're a Likas 101 student, you should not be married. You should not be getting married. You should not want to get married. And you should not be in a goddamn relationship. We are not here to help you fix those things. We believe, ultimately, there is no fix for most of them. They are doomed to fail in most cases because the institution of marriage and the tradition of relationships is fatally flawed. I say if you've got problems with your relationship, why don't you ask Dr. Laura, who's been married more than once and was uh, reportedly, according to uh, the late Bill Balance, was banging him while she was married to somebody else. Why don't you ask her for help? That's what Bill Balance said. I don't know if it was true. Don't know. That's what Bill claimed. And he took some naked pictures of Dr. Lord to prove it. At his apartment in Hollywood. <laughs> anyway, this classroom is not to teach you how to fix your relationship. It is not to teach you how to fix your marriage. I am here for one very specific reason. It is to help young men get laid. That is my job. One thing I know how to do is to get laid. Because when you've been married four times and divorced four times, that means you started off single. Then you got married. Then you were single again, then you're married. Then you're single again, you get married. Then the next time you get divorced, you realize it's not single, it's unmarried, because I really don't want to be married. So then you're unmarried, and then you get married. And finally, you get unmarried, and you stay unmarried. <laughs> the point is, every time you're unmarried, you get laid a lot. Because as I have said, the way I get over a broken relationship or a broken marriage is to have sex with anything that moves. Anything with a vagina, I'm in. Well, any human over the age of 18 with a vagina, if I have to be that specific. But you know what I mean. Tall, short, fat, thin, from any country on the planet, any citizenship status, it doesn't matter. Uh, right after I break up with somebody, I get as much action as I can get. I build up my own self-esteem by tearing down the self-esteem of others. 
I suck the life out of women, if you will. Now, you may think that sounds cruel, or you may think I'm making a joke, but it's really not true. If you feel sad about the breakup of a relationship, there's no better way to build back up that self-esteem than by sucking self-esteem out of others and keeping it within yourself. And you do that by having meaningless sex with people and then icing them or just simply cutting them off. You're going to feel great. They're going to feel like crap. And that's not an accident. The more you chop down other people's self-esteem to bolster your own, the better you're going to feel. So it is my recommendation that uh, you go out there and have sex with anybody. Don't make any promises by the same token. You don't have to blather on about how you don't believe in relationships anymore. You don't want to be connected to anybody. You don't want to be married. You don't have to tell them that. Have sex with them, and then later on when they say, what about marriage? What are you going to ask me to marry? Just say, hey. I do my own thing. She will hate you. Her self esteem will be lowered a notch. Yours goes up a notch because you realize there's more where she came from, and it's probably younger and hotter. I know it's worked for me many times. Why am I so arrogant today? I'm standing on the rubble heap of the women whose self esteem I destroyed. You hear how cocky I am? Where do you think that word came from? You bet I'm feeling cocky. <laughs> Standing on the destroyed self-esteems of so many women. Women I destroyed. And by the way, can, can I just say this? This is the sick and wonderful thing about it. Many of the women whose self-esteem I destroyed, they still call me. They would still like to get with me. In fact, the more I perverted their self-esteem, the more they call. My first wife still calls me. <laughs> it's true. I have no interest in getting with her, but I'm telling you. Women, it's sick. And women will call and say, well, that's not true, Ty, because my self-esteem is very high. Well, I'm not saying all women. Sweetheart, so don't call in. All right, don't don't call in with that. We already know. But there's an awful lot of women out there who, after you destroy their self-esteem, you not only feel better, but then later on they make you feel even better by continuing to call you even after you treated them like crap. The more you treat them like crap, the more they want you. Now, many of you did not believe that when you first heard it. You find it out. By trying it. I tell you to do it. You try it. And many of you have called and said, you know, Tom, you're right. I didn't believe you at first. But I'm treating them like crap and I can't beat them away with a stick. It's true. So I know we have many of you out there who are just out of a relationship or your girlfriend left you or she moved away to college and now she's getting banged by the entire fraternity up there and stuff. Hey, the way to get over this is to have meaningless sex with as many love-struck females as you possibly can. Then kick dirt all over them. You'll be amazed what that does for your self-esteem. It's going to bolster it immediately. After a while, you'll have so much confidence, and you'll realize how much game you're... That, that is, by the way, truly game. The ability... You know, we talk about whether a guy has game. The ability to treat a woman like absolute crap, and to have her, you know, panting after you like a puppy dog, that's game. You need to master that. Treat women like crap. Get them to follow you anywhere. They will. As your professor, I am here to help you avoid commitment, avoid relationships, avoid marriage. I am here to help you get what you want, which is sex, without having to waste time, money, or energy on women who aren't going to give it up. Why waste your time with women who are not going to give you what you want? I'm here to help you do that. There are many women who get very upset at your professor. They don't like what your professor has to say. Many of them say, I'm ruining it for them. I welcome your comments, ladies. The little ladies are always welcome in the Likers 101 classroom. 
Many of you ladies want to know how men think, and we are here to help you with that. And man, I am here to help you have as much meaningless sex with as many of these skanks as you possibly can. And then to toss them into the human trash heap. So if you're ready to rock and roll, so am I. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Like us 101 ought to be a required course for every child entering elementary school. And then they should give it to...